to profit passion fruit farming and uh, from uh, part one of uh, the previous video on uh, how to successfully bed your seedlings uh, I want us to cover on uh, uh, another way that you can do it sometimes you don't have to use uh, the bed in a normal way but in the bed there are no regulations that's why I I saw an interest on pursuing on a container using a container so uh, by using a container is where now you can move your thing uh, according and here you have to adjust to some things so you have to make sure that there are some other things that you need to control like for example you have to consider that the amount of water that will be hold by this can so you have to ensure that it 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 is sprinkled the excess water through downside uh, so after you put the soil into a cane a, or a can like this one or a bucket or somewhere or a pot so you can mix uh, with some manure and well rotten or decomposed manure so after mixing and ensure that uh, you don't put a lot of manure because it may burn the seeds during germination so it may burn the roots since the roots are not uh, strong so it may burn so ensure that you don't put a lot of manure so after mixing now in the previous video i talked about uh yellow and purple so sometimes you can use a uh, purple uh that is if you don't want to graft uh but mostly if you need uh to graft the seedlings we use a uh, yellow passion fruit so for yellow passion fruit we have to ensure that now you build some small trenches small trenches like this one you can uh, use different ways you can uh, like remove or there, there are people who remove this part like this they remove the whole you can make the trenches like the previous video you saw and also uh, cover right tree or you can use another method that most people do uh, remove this the top soil the topsoil and maybe put it aside somewhere like that then uh, using the seed ring or the passion fruit you have press the seeds here not in a rain or in a trenches but just press them like that so the seeds you just put them randomly but uh, I encourage using trenches because if you use trenches you can know which line uh, didn't germinate or what, what was the cause of a, a specific line or a trench that didn't germinate maybe is a cause of a lack of water or maybe excess of water so but uh, uh, in a, a specific like this one you just put like that you ensure that uh, the seeds take your time slowly ensure that you distribute you don't put uh, more on one area so you have to put a uh, different area because when you be transplanting it will be a very hard like if you you have like one area with a rod so if you try to pull it it will just pull the whole uh, with the others so but if you need one one the best way is to ensure that you dispatch they are not in one place so you can uh, use as many but also the limit of the size of uh, your uh, pod or container uh, is necessary because 
if he, your container like this one can only hold like maybe a thousand seeds so if they germinate more than a, a thousand seedlings that means they will not be healthy so you have to ensure that you you put like you see if i put place 500 uh seedlings or seeds and they all germinate that means this container can only hold that so there is a limit in a, a container because also the nutrients are scarce they are not in large quantities because uh, most of the seeds are uh, they are in one location not like in the other bed where it can go when you put it in the rad it's a, a rad now after you complete like this way then you can cover with soil just rightly it's very important you cover rightly just rightly And remember the soda that you have mm, you had taken away now you're placing it right recovering the all the seeds after that now you can sprinkle water but I encourage that here in sprinkling you have to ensure that it is not excess because we don't need this place to, uh, to be filled with water because that will kill the seed drinks or the seeds sorry it will kill the seeds and the seeds won't germinate so you have to ensure that you control the amount of water so here you just need like a cup or two cups to sprinkle and then after pressing the water remember this can or this pot can hold the water for a very long time so you have to ensure that if you pour water today you have to come back to pour the next not the next day but after three days so there is an interval of three days after you pour the other one remember i said about after two days so if this one you have to ensure that it is after three days and then the consecutive days that you follow it will be uh two days so after every two days you'll be pouring water unless if you just press it in a sunlight or direct sunlight and then you realize that uh the press is dry so now you can come without considering the intervals and pour uh some sprinkle some water and uh i want to, i want also to mention something that the seeds they may take uh, around two uh, uh, three weeks to one month so you have to ensure that between that period you minimize a lot of water uh, after like uh, three weeks you have to reduce the number of water because now the roots will be germinating so you have to ensure that you reduce the amount of water that you uh, you were sprinkling and uh, for this one you don't have to cover because it, it may not have a lot of enemies so you don't have to cover it because this one you can carry it wherever you want it's just a pot or a, a container so and for that i would like you if you have any question please ask in the comment and uh if you like our videos please support us by clicking the like button and also if you are new please subscribe to our channel thank you